In Southern Africa, I'm sure most Angus has at one stage or another targeted the very popular black bass species we have to offer. Producing some world-class catches, many Angus has made this their main facet of fishing. And for good reason, as when it comes to a challenge, these little green fish can have you dancing around. Ready to rock and roll. Who likes my nice warm cap? <laughs> Good morning guys and girls and thank you for watching ASFN. A nice chilly morning here on Inanda Dam with Rob Fisher. We're out uh, for the first time with the new Suzuki 200 SS. A high performance motor that can take the uh, the water grip props and the water grip sport and quite exciting for all the speed junkies and the bass anglers also available in a 250 horsepower we we also fully rigged <laughs> as per Rob's boat uh, on the Triton with all the the fish finders the Lorenz electronics HGS 9 is 16 in front it's like having a cinema on the boat here and now it's just a matter of catching fish I'm giving Rob a couple of costs um, ahead because <laughs> I wanted to talk to you lovely people quickly so let's get a rod out there I want to see he's, he's on the chatterbait already Southern Africa boasts with some really world-class catches as I said before and offers a combination of the northern and Florida strain bass how these little ones will go for this. I mean, it's crazy. Oh! Today we're exploring Ananda again in search of those bigger bass. The secondary objective today is to experience the new Suzuki 200 SS. A totally new level of excitement. A high performance mode aimed at the bass market as well as the speed junkies in the freshwater area. The difference with this model is that the gear case on the new 200 SS has a new hydrodynamic design similar to the 300 that reduces the drag created as the lower unit moves through the water and contributes to a faster acceleration and increased speed. Combined with the forward thinking technology only Suzuki has to offer and encapsulated with a lean burn technology to ensure the fuel efficiency. A combination that gets everybody's attention. This series takes advantage of Suzuki's big block, displacement, offset drive shaft layout with two-stage gear reduction and multi-point sequential electronic fuel injection. This innovation delivers a powerful hole shot, accelerating mid-range punch and great fuel economy. Smooth and silent is how we experienced our day. The morning's fishing was quite tough, hardly getting a bite. Rob was on the water the week before and had some fair success on jerkbaits, lipless cranks and chatterbaits, which resulted in us moving around quite a bit. One of the very old, popular spots on Inanda used to be Taxi Bay, but over the years hasn't produced much. It was still worth a try under conditions, and this is where I got the first decent bite. Using a finesse jig, June bug colour and a Gary Yamamoto Stretch 40 trailer. It was still early, so I was fishing a slower pattern. better than a kick in the face. Not the ones that I was looking for, but it'll do. Bazinga. Mm -hmm. 
Not long after moving around to the next bay, I managed to get a good strike of a really decent fish on a chatterbait, also in the Junebug colour. What was unique about this fish is as I gave slack for some camera work, it shot down and stuck its head into the salt and shrubs, very similar to all our saltwater bass species that shows the same behaviour, obviously trying to dislodge the bait in its mouth. Yeah, that's a good one. Jeez, that's, that's a really a nice. Okay guys, this makes every time we come fishing, a fish like this really makes it worth it. Now look at these beautiful colors. You can see it, it dug himself, we watched him in the clear water, dug himself into the brush here, head first. Because I relaxed the line a bit, and when I saw it was a bigger fish and we wanted to get some underwater shots. And it, you can see the scratches now, but look at its dark coloring, and that happens when your water is so clean that it adapts to the bottom to camouflage itself better. You'll see when your water is murky and, and off color, they go very light in color, like a light, light brown and light green color. But beautiful specimen. And I think he's getting annoyed with me talking so much, so let's get him back. I'm not bad, eh? 1.62. <laughs> Just check if I could still guess weight. Still no pattern and trying everything. I stuck it out with the chatterbait from there on with the occasional cast of a finesse jig. Here and there we fished weightless and very light mojo rigs as well with Gary Yamamoto Senkos and Creature Baits. I've been sold years ago on all Gary Yamamoto's baits. The pure density, the way it falls and just the bite result you get on this superior quality bait is unmatched. Interesting. Oh, another dinky. Dink city. I think I'll slap the cameraman with the dinky. <laughs> Are the dams are the most popular, popular dams in Southern Africa to target those really bigger specimens. The likes of Midmar, Albert Falls, Inanda and Khudutro are some of the very popular waters. Closer to midday, we tried the quarry, fishing in much deeper water, with no success. Now it's always a pleasure joining Rob on the boat, especially the way it's been kitted out. Boasting the top of the range electronics, with the HDS Live 9 on the console, followed by the HDS Live 12 on the front, all linked up with the Ghost. Probably the most talked about trolling motor at this stage. A phenomenal piece of equipment. Lorenz has perfected the spot lock technology that's been around for quite some time. Most of the morning we had hardly had any wind and the wind slowly started to pick up. We made our way to Devon Bay and this is where I got the fish of the day. Again, a really good kicker on a chatterbait. Working it all day eventually paid off. That is a fish. There we go. Bazinga. <laughs> 
Nice and fat. Took it nicely. Nice little fatty. Yeah. This one makes two. Yep. Possibly a 2.1, 2.2. Because of that tummy. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Look at that, guys. That's what we love. To conclude today, we fished about 14 different areas and covered up to about 500 meters in most of these areas. When the fishing stuff like this, you need to move around, slow down, speed up and try everything you can to provoke the bite. Today we couldn't find the pattern, but it was still a real enjoyable day, with a bag size of our five biggest fish nearly reaching seven kilos. In this series, we'll continue exploring these dams at different times and different seasons, with all the different patterns that could potentially deliver those really big lunkers. So make sure you join us going forward. Today, having the complete Lorenz fishing system with a ghost backed up with that silent, sexy Suzuki motor was really enjoyable. And to add to that, a couple of good fish. Hey guys, now that's about two o'clock, 10 past two. We're gonna call it for the day. Uh, it wasn't fireworks, but we can't complain. Oh, it's always nice to be out, but the fishing was really, really, really tough. Yeah. I mean, if it hadn't been for your fish, we would have had to have slit our throats. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I especially want you guys to hear the purr of this 200 Suzuki the SS, high if, performance. If you can't hear it, it is on. Mm -hmm. Look if I press it, it's yeah. there, so it is on. You can put a baby to sleep on this. Yeah. It's really a pleasure. And you must see this one now. It's his third time out and every two stroke that comes past or other motor. Listen to that. They must burn it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's your third time out. How yeah. do you experience it? I'm oh, very happy. The first, first day I had it, I was getting used to it. And from day two, it was... I mean, the whole shot is awesome. I love the sound. Yeah, it pops out. Eh? Yeah, it's beautiful. And shooting along the dam, it's just... And I've also got a high confidence in it. I yeah. mean, it's brand new, it's got a full service plan, it's smooth, very happy. And sexy. I think it's a very sexy motor. The it Mac. is, it is. Yeah. I put pictures up on Facebook and everyone said, oh, that's sexy. Yeah. So, and Ghost, you know, oh, that's imprinted now, eh? That's like second major. Life without a ghost is not worth living. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the low answers. Yeah, and it's, yeah, it's yeah, I mean, if, if of all the things on the boat, the ghost is probably my number one so that's that's good, requirement. Yeah. Yeah. I look purely for the anchor lock. It's got all the other things go, go to shots, follow routes, lots of fancy stuff. And the way it deploys and comes back in. But the spot lock is just winning. And, yeah. and it's quiet and it's. I mean, it's foot controlled, it's electronic, but it feels like the old wire, you know, like um, it's a wire control. It's really, really nice. Well, now it's full house. Now yeah. we just start catching bigger and more fish. Yeah. So I can't, I can't wait. For I mean, me. I've got the remote control for the ghost, but I never use it because it's oh, just yeah. so easy on the front anyway. You, you had it last time, right? Yes, I think I need to get a chair, yeah. like the old days. And Drag, drag a wormy out the back. <laughs> <laughs> and I see Suzuki comes with a whole uh, yes, it's kind of computer box. Yes, it has. Yeah. Powers and voltage and... So, the whole full house, the whole package, now it's just Bazinga getting those big, big... big now, I, now I just have to learn how to fish. Yeah, it makes two of us. Yeah, no, you did, you did pretty well today. Yeah, it's luck, I mean... Today, if it's three times in a row, we can talk again. Yes. Yeah. Last time it was me. Yeah. This time it's you. Yeah. So that's how it goes. But I must, I must have, give you kudos for perseverance. 
You were on the front there casting, you didn't stop the whole day. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Mind oh. you, you did stop for lunch. Yeah, that was but, five minutes. Yeah. And I, I was impressed. Yeah, but it's enjoyable and it's really nice. Yeah, it's, nothing can beat being out on the water and soul food. Nobody to nag you. <laughs> nah, no, it's Can't cool. wait for the next one. We'll, uh, we'll make plans. Sure. Give me, a, give me a tink for the time. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for an awesome day. Well, guys, remember to subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified every time we upload a video. Our bass series will be to test a whole bunch of different things, technologies, electronics, baits, tackle, and see the biggest possible bass asses we can catch. And uh, share that with you guys and all the dads, especially in Natal. And we might even uh, go on tour sometime, who knows. But thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. And in the winter time, yes, the bike might be slower, but there's always the chance of getting to some of those bigger fish. Every season is my favorite season for bass fishing, but the winter times have got a really special place. I can't wait to get back to Inanda, because somewhere down there is lurking that really big fish we're looking for. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and push that little bell notification to get notified every time we upload a video.